Joe Stuckey writes, I love Ted 2 and I wouldn't mind seeing a third film, but I'm not sure if Universal will go through with it after the box office results on Ted 2 and A Million Ways to Die in the West. Just wanted to hear your thoughts on a Ted 3 and if you think it will happen. Ted 2, uh, Ted 2 is a very interesting thing because as a whole, as a complete film start to finish, Ted, I believe at any rate, is the superior film to Ted 2. That being said, there are moments in Ted 2 that are higher peaks of hilarity than, than we had in Ted 1, I thought. There are several scenes that are already coming to my mind. The Jurassic Park theme is not the least of which. They did some <laughs> really funny stuff in Ted 2, but it wasn't as consistent, it wasn't as even as the first film was, and the first film I just thought was a better film overall. Why people did not go out to see Ted 2 is a little bit of a mystery to me. The first one was received very well. The marketing for the second one was not bad. I, I thought the marketing was fairly good. Was it a spectacular campaign? Uh, no. And I really didn't think people would be having the taste of A Million Ways to Die in the West. Since it's not actually McFarlane in the film, and I, I didn't think that a lot of people would have been like media savvy enough to really make that connection. I, so I'm a little bit of a loss. I didn't think Ted 2 was horrible. I thought it had some really good highlights, even though it wasn't as good as the first. The performance, I never would have guessed it would have done this poorly. To get to the answer to your question, do we think they'll do a Ted 3? I highly doubt it. I, I don't think they'll put in the money to do a Ted 3. I would Like you, I would like to see one because the second one made me laugh enough that I'd be intrigued. I just don't think it's going to happen. But Mark Wahlberg said he was going to make it in Entourage. <laughs> Didn't you guys see that movie? That's an official quote now. Uh, I'm going to use a workout analogy real quick. The first Ted was like a nice, like really steady jog. The second Ted was like interval training. It was like, oh man, you're laughing and then you're just like, oh, what the hell's happening here? I'd love to see a Ted 3. I think that we're probably in the slight minority on that because people, again, they just didn't have an overwhelming response to Ted 2, despite how hilarious it was at points. I'm not dying to see a Ted 3. I don't need it. I, I, If I had my way, I'd just have Seth MacFarlane stick to Family Guy because Family Guy entertains me on such a scale that it's actually <laughs> damaging to most of my relationships. But... I, I, if he was going to do another movie, I'd like to see Ted 3. I never saw A Million Ways to Die in the West. I kind of stayed away from that. Christian saw it, told me about it, and said, you never need to see it. And I'm like, all right. So Seth MacFarlane at some point will do another shot at a live action film, and I hope it goes better than A Million Ways to Die in the West did. I think that's probably where he's focusing his energy as opposed to making Ted 3 after these box office results. But I just, I just want to see Seth MacFarlane work, and the guy makes me laugh. Uh, if it happens, I actually do want to see it as a Netflix film. Like to me, that would be the way to do this movie because you guys are a hundred percent right. It's got some big belly laughs, mm -hmm. but you're like, wait, this is the same story points that literally happened in the last movie. What are you, what are you doing here? And I do think that a million ways to die in the West had a lot to do with it because that movie. Mm -hmm. My dad was a huge fan of Ted. Love Ted. Ran out to see that movie because he loved it so much and then called me and said, I don't think I'm going to see Ted 2 because that movie was so bad. Yeah. And I and then he went, he saw it, and he got the big laughs out of it too. But that's the thing is that I don't know how much more you can do with the movie anymore. It's just a matter of the jokes and you're just going there to laugh. And if that's the case, it's, I think it serves better on a, a live streaming site at this point because audiences didn't run to see this and it, it's a big gamble for Universal to take on a third movie for a second one that did okay. You know what the funny thing is in the first Ted, there was no, the first Ted was not perfect, but there was no one big thing in Ted that I thought, man, this thing was a giant weight, an anchor dragging right. you down. The second Ted, Giovanni Ribisi, who I like very much mm -hmm. as an actor. Rehash. But bringing that character back was a phenomenal yeah. mistake. And every time he was on the screen, and, and I don't blame the actor for it, but every time he was on the screen, it just screeched any momentum the film had right. to a complete halt. Didn't care. Nothing was funny. And they just, and it made it, see, because the movie to me didn't feel like a rehash up until that point. Once they brought him in again, it's like, it's the Hangover 2 all over well, again. Well, yeah, and they did right. that with the end. I mean, instead of Fenway Park, it was New York Comic Con. It was, it was the same thing. Yeah. It was the same movie. The end, the end was the same.